my Toyota Tacoma ownership regrets. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and welcome back to the channel. So what are my Toyota Tacoma ownership regrets? You know, first of all, there's always something about any vehicle you get, right? Well, I'm here to tell you, that's not true. Uh, I've been happy about all of the Tacomas that I've had. They've all scratched whatever itch I got them for, right? But I do have some ownership regrets. This is on me, right? Me as the owner. Well, what am I talking about? Well, it really comes into play more so with the, the last two I've had, my 2018 and this 2020. And it has to do with modding. You know, I go gung-ho, man. When I want to when I want to do things to the truck, there aren't there isn't a lot of time, I guess, in between when I get the itch and I scratch it, you know? So I jump on things right away, and I honestly probably should have spent a little more time uh, researching and uh, considering the implications uh, of what I'm, I'm doing, what I've done, right? I'll start with the 2018. Um, and the 2018 is really pretty simple, I guess. Uh, the biggest regret I had in my 2018 was some of the aesthetic things that I did on the interior of the truck. You know, there's all kinds of appliques, decals, stickers, things that you can get to dress up the inside of your truck, right? I mean, you can change the colors, change the vent rings, change this, change that, all kinds of stuff. So I did that in my uh, 2018. I actually went with uh, a lot of those uh, carbon fiber type, uh, uh, we'll call them decals, stick-ons, whatever, uh, where you can put them all over the inside of the truck, you know, to kind of hide the chrome. And, and that was always my, my main purpose, really, was to hide the chrome, right? So I went with a lot of those carbon fiber type stick-on things. And after I had done it, you know, in looking at the truck, I kind of felt like it was too much. I did too much. Uh, I went overboard, right? So I decided I was gonna take some off. And this was before, of course, I sold the truck uh, or traded it in on this one, which is the 2020. So I decided I was gonna take those off and being adhesive backed, I figured I'd just peel them off, no big deal. Maybe there'd be a little bit of adhesive left, not a big deal. Well, <laughs> couple of things. I live in a very hot climate, so that adhesive just bakes all the time, right? It just gets stronger and stronger, and it wants to stick to whatever you've stuck it to. So I went to pull it off, and I did it with the truck being outside because I figured it would, you know, be heated up and it would be easier to do. So I started to peel one off, and man, that adhesive came off on the, in this case, it was the door uh, ledge, you know, where you rest your arm, where the switches and things are, whatever, uh, it stuck really badly. Uh, so bad that I thought, I cannot clean that adhesive off without either getting some sort of a liquid in my switches or ruining the surface altogether, right? So I just said to heck with it. Um, this was before I was thinking of trading it in, so I was still going to have the truck, but I just said to heck with it. I'll live with it. Uh, my bad, my mistake, and that's what I did. Now, the next person, of course, after I traded that in, uh, did buy the truck, and I assumed they liked that. Uh, and this is really a, a personal preference thing. I mean, I'm assuming they liked it because they bought the truck. So, not a big deal for them. But just beware, you know, if you're gonna start sticking stuff all over the inside of your truck, yeah, you may think that because it's adhesive back, you just take it off if you don't want it. It's a little more, uh, involved if you're going to do that. Um, the 2020. The 2020 that I'm in right now, this is the uh, off-road version. The 2018, of course, was the sport version. And my biggest regret with this truck was the, uh, the lift. Now, 
and, and the wheel and tire setup. And I can attribute that back to the 2018 as well, but it just handled it better being a sport with a little bit different suspension or setup. Um, but the wheel and tire setup, originally I had put 20 inch uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers along with uh, 20 inch wheels on this truck. And I gotta say, that is not a good combination. You know, if you live in an area where all you're gonna do is drive on smooth roads, never hit a bump, certainly never go off road, then they'll work pretty good for you, no issue. But if you live in an area like I do, where the roads are, eh, and they're bumpy and ruddy, and you know, and I do plan on taking this thing off road at some point, 20 inch doesn't give you enough uh, tire wall. You know, you need more tire wall to be able to absorb those bumps and things. Unless, of course, you don't mind being thrown all over the truck in a, a more harsh ride, then go for it. It doesn't make any difference. But for me, I wanted something a little better. I, I didn't want my teeth chattering every time I hit a bump, which is what was happening. In addition to that, the lift. Now, I did take the lift uh, that I had left over because I took it off of my 2018 and put it on this truck. So it's not like I went out and spent a bunch of more money uh, on a lift. I did pay to have it installed, of course, but that's minimal as compared to uh, buying the lift and everything else. But in combination with those 20 inch uh, wheels and tires, it, it just gave me a horrendous ride. I mean, it was bouncy. If you watch the videos or been on the channel a long time, you knew I have, uh, or you'll know, I had a lot of problems with that lift or that setup, I should say. So it was horrible. So obviously I, uh, I scrapped that, I sold all that stuff and, uh, and went with a 17 inch uh, wheel and, uh, and 285 70R 17 tires, which gave me almost twice as much uh, tire wall. You know, the distance between the wheel and the ground, if you will, and what a difference that makes. I mean, it is a truck. I'm not saying it, it rides like, you know, I'm floating or anything but it is by far better than it was before. And had I just done more research, and don't get me wrong, I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of videos. Uh, I read a lot of stuff in the forums, but you know, there's always conflicting uh, opinions out there. You know, everybody has their own opinion. And I sometimes I feel like people post things that aren't necessarily true, just to kind of make themselves feel better about the decision that they've made and the horrible ride that they now have. So those are my biggest regrets. Uh, you know, just make sure you consider, think about what you're doing. If you're gonna put a bunch of decals and things all over the inside of your truck, uh, just realize that you may wanna take those off someday and don't go overboard. Uh, and if you're going for a lift and new wheels and tires while the 20 inchers look pretty good, just be aware that you're going to give up a lot as far as ride quality and even off-road capability if you're into off-roading and stuff like that. Anyway, just wanted to get on here, kind of run through that. My uh, my biggest Toyota Tacoma ownership regrets, those are it. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've done something to your Tacoma um, and if you regret doing it. If you tried to change it maybe and couldn't because the, you were past the point of no return, uh, I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.